Hey everybody, welcome to Wacky Wednesday number 98 on the Mandalik. I'm John as always, and it's time for a Magic 2012 draft. Uh, I'm pretty sure they messed up the uh, the flashback schedule just to get Innistrad on Halloween week. Because of course, M12 came before Innistrad, and we've already had Innistrad and Dark Ascension. And Abyssin Restored came after Dark Ascension, and we're not doing Abyssin Restored until next week. So we're doing M12 this week. Um, yeah, I've never actually drafted M12. It's the... Uh, uh, the last core set that we're going to play on these flashback drafts that I haven't played. Um, I know Bloodthirst is the main yeah, mechanic, and that's about all I know. So we'll jump into this once we get eight people. There's currently zero. Hopefully somebody shows up, and uh, I will see you guys for pack one, pick one. Wow, okay. That actually took a, a ridiculous amount of time. We've got a skin shifter. I remember skin shifter being fine. It's a two-mana 1-1, one, one, which isn't great, but you can pay a green to turn it into a 4-4 four, four trampling rhino, a 2-2 two, two flying bird, or an 0-8 plant uh, with defender. No, not with defender. Pretty solid. There's just a pacifism, which is absolutely fantastic, and probably is just better. So what do we get here? We get a 4-4 four, four trample on turn three if we play this on turn two. But pacifism is pacifism. So it's kind of hard to pass that up. We've got a turn to frog, alluring siren, chasm drakes a 3-3 three, three that makes something else fly. Um, I mean, it is just between, as far as I can tell, pacifism or skin shifter. Uh, I don't know this format. I don't know if green is better than white or if white is better than green. I know the format gets a little bit aggro-y, I think, because of the bloodthirst mechanic. Um, uh, pacifism. No, we'll take the skin shifter. It's Wacky Wednesday. Why not, right? And then what do we get for green? We get a Garrick's Companion. Uh, oh, this is still a color hoser set. Uh, so we've got Deathmark killing a green or white creature. Combust hopefully killing a blue or white creature. Um, Soren's Thirst is like a, sort of a bad shock drain. Um, Brink of Disaster was okay. Or was it? Maybe it was too expensive. I guess we just have Garrick's Companion. Goes with the Skin Shifter. It's a 3 2 for uh, 2 with Trample. Pretty solid. Uh, Jace's Erasure. Was the Mill Deck still a thing in M12? Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. The mill deck could still have been a thing, but I'm not sure. Zombie infestation? Sure. And a basic land, it's a swamp. Alright. Let's uh let's see if we can do something with the quote unquote worst color in the format. During your turn, prevent all damage that would be dealt to you. Wait, really? Is that good? Wait, no, of course that's not good. Of course that's not good. I was thinking um, either forever or during your opponent's turn. No, that's horrible. <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, thanks, non-existent chat. We can take a Sacred Wolf. 3-1 for 3 Hexproof might just be really annoying. There's an Aura's Mancer. Um, Armored Warhorse. Yeah, we'll just take the, the Wolf. <laughs> uh, totally, totally misthought about that card. There is garbage in here. Another troll hide. Ice cage. We'll take dragons a thing, I guess. Wow. I don't think we're going to do well. All right. Pride Guardian's just not really something we terribly want to play. Neither is Guardian's Pledge, so we don't even know that we're white, right? So we could still take Voltaic Dragon. Maybe go red with the Phoenix. Um, sure, let's take the Dragon. 
And then we get white. Um, Arbol Ooh, Gorhorn Minotaur. Minot uh, Minotaurs. I remember them being good. Arbalest Elite. Four mana, two, three. Two and a white. Tap. Deals three damage strike, attacking or blocking creature. Doesn't untap during your next untap step. That sounds pretty good. Pretty good. There's an Assault Griffin. Oh, there's a Chandra's Outrage. Chandra's Outrage goes with Chandra's Phoenix. Oh, this basically needs to be our choice right now. Do we go white or do we go red? Erg. Um. Do we go white or do we go red? Ugh. All right, let's go red. And get punished. <laughs> totally punished. Uh, what do we have? We've got a Vastwood Gorger. Spells you control. Blah, 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 blah. No. Devouring Swarm. Have I played M12? Maybe I've played M12 like once or twice. I remember Devouring Swarm being... Um, why do I remember this being good? It doesn't sound that good. Is there something similar that gets counters when you sack a creature? Rather than plus one, plus one? Huh. Anyways. We can take the Griffin Rider if we don't, in fact, end up red. But I think at this point, we really just want to push red. Um, we are green, so we could just take the big, dumb Bastard Gorger. Yeah, I guess that's the safer route. Day of Judgment. Another Arbalist Elite. Are we supposed to be white? <laughs> Maybe we're just supposed to be white. Wraths are less good and limited for sure. We could just take it. It's a fiery hellhound, which is fine. Huh. I do not know, guys. Do not know. Uh, sure. Let's take a day of judgment. We're in on white now. <laughs> We're in on white, despite what we said about red. Uh, and a Griffin Sentinel is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. We'll take it. Uh, stave off. We need to take cards that we will play, is the current plan. So we will take a stave off. Oromancer or Divine Favor. We can take Oromancer to get a creature. It'll bring Trollhide back if Trollhide makes its way into the graveyard. It's also a 2-2. We can get a Divine Favor in pack 3, almost guaranteed. So let's do that. Uh, Oromancer number 2 is a card that I guess we're going to have to play. <laughs> um, Glade Cover Scout. We could maybe get some more enchantments and throw them on the Glade Cover Scouts. And the... What else has that proof? Not the Crocodile. The Wolf. Um, sure. Let's play Boggles. With a Divine Favor. Oh, this is going to be a terrible deck. Let's take the Foil. Alright, red, get out of there. Especially because you're all double red. Pride Guardian, maybe we have to play you. Stave off. That's pro color till end of turn. Target creature pro color till end of turn. Right. Oh boy, oh boy. Titanic growth, that's fine. Plus four, plus four at instant speed. Relatively solid combat trick. All right, Primeval Titan, come on. Pay off this draft slash also give us an amazing on-color mythic. Or a Sun Petal Grove. We got a Rampant Growth. Another Sacred Wolf, Arachnus Web. Uh, right. So it's removal as long as the creature doesn't get too big to break out of it. Uh, we've got a rock egg. Sun Petal Grove isn't worth anything, right? It's been reprinted a billion times. It is worth a whopping two cents. Um, I might just take the Rampant Growth. It'll get me the extra green if I need it for the companion, although I want that on turn two. It'll get me my extra white. It will Rampant Growth me, get, you know, a Vastard Gorger out one turn earlier. 
probably better than web and if we're the only green deck then maybe web comes back around wolf might come back around or maybe the rock yeah let's take a rampant growth Ooh, acidic slime Bloodlord of Vasgoth. Are you worth anything? I doubt it. I've never even heard of you. Seven whole cents. Um, yeah, so we've got Acidic Slime, which I think is just the pick. There's also a Greater Bass. Oh, jeez. Pacifism. Oh, jeez. Pacifism. Yeah, we just have to take Pacifism here. Acidic Slime is really good, though, as is Basilisk. 3-5 Death Touch. But Pacifism is Pacifism. Um, Spirit Mantle on Summon. Another Law Keeper. Spirit Mantle. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one, and has protection from creatures. Seems dece. Throw that on a Bastard Gorger, make it unblockable. We have two Oromancers. Eh, it's Wacky Wednesday. Why not? Why not? We've got another Glade uh, cover scout for shenanigans, and we do need creatures. Um, it's either that or a Sentinel or a Pride Guardian. Manolith was never good, right? If you were, like, maybe splashing, it was okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take another Hexproof thing, and we are going to try the Hexproof Enchantments deck kind of thing-ish. Ooh, these look like some good choices here. Jade Mage. Can jam out Sapperlings. Runeclaw Bear is just literally Grizzly Bear. Uh, yeah, I'll take a Jade Mage. I remember the Mages all being pretty decent. Lure is fine enough. We don't. We didn't get any death touchers though, right? No, lure's a lot better on a death toucher. Uh, yeah. Let's take jade mage. Doubling chant. That's not what I thought it was. That's not doubling season. For each creature you control, you may search library for a creature card of the same name. Put those creatures in the battlefield. So I can get what two glade cover scouts or two oromancers. Big whoop. I think we just take the bear. I think we just take the bear. The bear. Um. What do we cut for the bear? Probably Pride Guardian. Pride Guardian looks pretty terrible. Oh, it's got Defender, too. Didn't even realize that. Get out. Bear's in. Ooh, here we go. 2-5 reach for 5. Kill a flyer. Or, good old Giant Spider. Good old Giant Spider. I just realized I briefly thought about On Summon a few picks ago. I'm not blue. <laughs> I'm just so used to being blue in many of my decks. Um, yeah, we'll take a giant spider. Cut out. Maybe just Brindlebore. Brindlebore looks pretty mediocre. Yeah, giant spider in. Brindlebore out. Uh, reclaim, Gorger, Elixir. Target card. I guess we'll take that, but we're not going to play it. Maybe we just hit it like a Dusk Hunter Bat. Yeah, I must have played this format at least a couple of times. Because I remember Dusk Hunter Bat and Brink. And um, I guess I can deal with Dusk Hunter Bat, Plummet, Giant Spider. Yeah, let's take a Reclaim. Crumbled Colossus, Armored Warhorse, Sacred Wolf came back. I guess Sacred Wolf is our on our hexproof uh, uh, enchantments plan, so we could throw it in. Maybe instead of the crocodile, it's a three-one though. We're gonna take it. I don't think we're gonna take an Armored Warhorse, but what do we cut for it? What do we cut for it? Not sure. Not sure. Maybe we just cut the giant spider. Maybe giant spider is not a thing unless we're up against flyers. Let's do that. Uh, Rusted Sentinel, three, four enders tapped, foil master thief, fire breathing, scavenger drake. Let's take a foil master thief. Uh, Bountiful Harvest, sure. Kite Shield, no, we'll take another Divine Favor. Uh, Wormstooth, sure. Mind Rot, sure. And finally, a Mountain. Well, this is a, uh, a group of cards on my computer screen.
that's about the best I can say about it. <laughs> um, we'll add some lands to it. 9-8, sure. Basically, we want to go turn one, lockkeeper, turn two, uh, growth, turn three, wolf and glade cover, turn four, all of the auras on one of them, and then attack. I guess. Okay, well, I'll see you guys for round one. Probably just round one, but I'll see you guys for round one.